Hey everyone, this is George of YouTube channel Uncanny George. I'm back with a new video. This is my explanation. I'm going to fill you in on the after credit scenes for Ant-Man and the Wasp. There are two of them. So without going any further, I do want to let you know there are going to be spoilers in this video. Heavy spoilers. If you haven't seen the film, please do see the movie. If you don't mind spoilers, if you just want to know what the after credit scene's about, well, I'm going to let you know about them. So in the after credit scene, we catch up with the Ant family. Yes, I mean Scott Lang. I mean Hank Pym, I mean Janet Van Dyne and Hope Van Dyne. What they're doing now is they've managed to miniaturize or at least scale down the size of the quantum portal that they were using at the end of the movie and it is now in the back of the van, the X-Con van. In hilarious fashion we now see that it has been scaled down and literally fits inside of the X-Con van and that's how they're using it. So Scott Lang's Ant-Man is then scaled down to quantum level where he goes into the quantum realm and he tries to retrieve uh, what I believe is quantum energy to help with ghost condition. What ends up happening when he's down there is the snap occurs and we see that Scott is stranded in the quantum realm as Hank, Janet, and Hope have disappeared. They've been snapped away by Thanos and his uh, infinity snap. So I actually do have some questions about this, but before I get into that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the next after credit scene. The second after credit scene comes at the very end of the movie, and it's actually just that fun little segment that we see in the trailer of one of the ants playing the drums. And it's a really cool segment. It's just a fun segment, and I really liked it. But you do get a little more from that. What ends up happening is they pull back from the ant and what you see is that this is also after the snap because you see the emergency broadcast signal on the television. You also see kind of like an empty city. That doesn't mean that everybody's been snapped away but it looks like a lot of people have been snapped away and this does appear to occur after the snap scene. So I guess the ant's just chilling out enjoying his time at Scott Lang's house. So my kind of concern or what I thought was kind of odd or just kind of something that struck me when I was watching the first after credits scene is that it seemed a bit odd to me that if my time placement's right this occurs during Avengers Infinity War and so instead of Ant-Man and the team being over there helping Captain America trying to combat the alien forces that invaded the Earth they either don't seem to know or weren't contacted or just haven't watched the news or something because this is something that's on the scale of a planetary threat with an alien invasion I thought that Ant-Man would probably want to be there to support the Avengers. I know that helping ghosts is something that's pretty important but I really thought that if Ant-Man were aware that this was going on, that the evasion was happening. Assuming he watches the news, he would probably see this going on because we do see that there is film coverage of this in uh, Avengers Infinity War. I would have thought that Ant-Man, not only Ant-Man, but also Hank Pym, Janet Van Dyne, Hope Van Dyne, would show up to help out the Avengers if possible. Now maybe they weren't contacted or maybe they just happened to, I know they were probably still on the run a little bit because I don't think Ant-Man's supposed to be donning the Ant-Man suit still, but that did seem a little strange to me. Now going forward, I'm not sure how this could play into anything. Some of the dialogue that was really interesting that Michelle Pfeiffer's Janet Van Dyne mentioned is that to be aware of certain things, one of them happened to mention a time portal of some sort and having watched Doctor Strange we know that the quantum realm is just another universe just another realm that are out there one of many and we know that time can be manipulated in the Avengers universe so I'm wondering if her dialogue has something to do with what's going to happen going forward if Ant-Man's going to be more central a character than even we thought of but it is going to be really interesting to see how much Ant-Man figures into Avengers 4 because he is stranded right now in the Quantum Realm. We know that he managed to escape the Quantum Realm before in the first Ant-Man film, but I'm not sure if he's down even further, like if he managed to go to an even lower level that because they had to use the Quantum device that they built in the Ant-Man and the Wasp movie, that maybe he's on a level that's even smaller than what he achieved in Ant-Man the first film. So as of now he's stranded and the snap has occurred and so far three major characters Hank Pym, Janet Van Dyne and Hope Van Dyne were lost due to the snap. Now there's some other loose ends that we don't know about either. We don't know if Lewis and his team are still around. There was a bit of funny banter 
in the film where he talks about wanting a suit and who knows those might have been seeds planted for what's going to happen going forward maybe he might get some powers who knows but we also don't know what happened to bill foster we don't know what happened to ghost they may still be around they may have been snapped away also so that's where we're at i filled you in on the ant-man and the wasp after credit scenes if you have any questions let me know what you think did this strike you as something that seemed a little bit odd is there something that i'm missing was there some sort of dialogue or did some did i overlook anything please let me know in the comments section let me know what you guys think if you have your own theories i'd love to know what you all think and i really appreciate y'all's support so thank you so much for watching